This is KERA, where members have made the difference for 30 years. Winn-Dixie believes in quality products and quality programming. We're proud to help make possible the local broadcast of Austin City Limits for a third year. Winn-Dixie, America's supermarket. A remarkable singer-songwriter from Dallas who will win your heart, Sarah Hickman. I just need you. And I have never wanted more. And a unique combination of two talents, Kennedy Rose. City Austin City Limits is made possible by the financial support of viewers like you. Now, here's Sarah Hickman.
Well, this next song is, are there any couples here tonight? Oh, look at this lady up here in the striped shirt with the long black hair sitting next to the guy in the striped shirt just going the other way. Stand up. Go ahead, stand up. It's okay. Well, she's waiting. Okay, guy in the striped shirt is going up the side, up this way down. Put your arm around her. That is your girlfriend, right? Or your friend, or whatever you call it nowadays. You're, they're, they're married. And your friends. That's good. Okay. Well, <laughs> what's your name? Christina Michael? Okay, we're going to dedicate this song to you. <laughs> this is a song about friends falling in love. What a creative idea, huh? Okay, here we go. And nowhere else but Austin City Limits would you hear such a profound idea, huh? Okay.
relationship, sometimes I get in fights with the person I'm in a relationship with. And I don't know if that's an odd thing or if it happens with everyone. But anyway, we had a fight one day, and uh, it was a doozy fight, too. And, uh, and so he went away, and I was, like, slamming bricks together or something. I don't know what I was doing. But um, anyway, he came back later, and he'd written a poem, and he left it on my desk. And, uh, and I found it. And it was like, I sat down on the floor immediately. It was like, wow, this is a really heavy poem. I mean, I'm talking about Henry Wordsworth Longfellow type stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, I whipped out my guitar and it's just, well, whatever their thing is. <laughs> Emily Dickinson, there's a good one. Anyway. <laughs> See, I can't remember those male poets, but you name a female. Okay, come on. So, the music soared out of me. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was a clue to the people here in the front. Anyway, so this is a song called The Very Thing. And we hope you like it. The very thing that makes you happy makes me want to fight. The very Makes you tired, keeps me up all night. The very thing that reassures you makes me turn and run in fright. It's the very thing, oh, it's the very thing. It's the very thing that makes me love you. As happy as what's tearing us apart The very place where we are ending Is where I've got to start To put a positive rotation To this spending in my heart It's the very thing
Thank you. Yeah! Oh my God, they're even standing up now. Well, you want to know? Okay. Once upon a time, this is like a bedtime story, so too bad you didn't bring your pillow and your teddy bear. Anyway, I was in Dallas and I was driving down the street. Oh, oh, watch, they'll show you. I was driving down the street. Mm -hmm -hmm. When all of a sudden I got hit by a... That's right. And, uh, and it hit me from behind and it went... And I don't know how you feel, but when I get hit by a car, my instant reaction is ultra-violence. So I went to the back of my car and I got out my chainsaw. And I was walking back towards this lady. And I rev revving it up. And she was crying. Crying through the windshield. She had mascara all over her face. Probably like I do. And, uh, and, and I started feeling guilty. You know, those waves of guilt. When all of a sudden, this magical, mysterious voice came through my body, singing. And it said, Fear not, Sarah Aikman. Do not harm my hair on this woman's head. So I put my chainsaw down and knocked on her window and she und undid her window and she was crying. And I said, it's okay. I know you're having probably a really bad day now and, and I'm fully covered, so just be on your way. And she went, Wah! So I was standing there in the lonely, wet street of Dallas with my chainsaw, wondering where this nasty, nasty voice came from. Because I wasn't covered. <laughs> so I started walking out of my car, my beat up car, and I sat in the car in the rain, thinking, wondering, and pondering, perhaps you could say. <clears throat> when all of a sudden, ah! it came back, and it said, Oh, Sarah Hickman, you have done a good thing, and wherever you go in the world, you must spread the word of the Mary Lou. And I said to myself, the Mary Lou? Mary Lou who? And they said, the Mary Lou Retton. For she has brought positive influence into the world. So, <laughs> so here I am tonight, spreading the word of the Mary Lou. And whenever evil or darkness or something negative comes into your space, instead of grabbing your chainsaw or throwing a dish or kicking your dog, just reach into the air and let out that that, that intimate voice that lives within each of us. And everyone's is different, you know. I mean, when I let go and do the Mary Lou, it's something like this. Yay! But, but now, I would like us to do a wave of the Mary Lou. And I don't want you to imitate my sound. It's just the glee that's within me that comes out. But yours may be something else. Yours may be passion. Yours may be inner beauty and wealth. Who knows? So, so I'd like to just do a wave around the, of the loo. And, and, and as, as we go by you, just let that voice out. Just express yourself like you've been wanting to all day. Okay? This man up here is chewing gum. He's looking at me like, oh, why did I come to this show? <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> so when we get to this guy over here in the wave, I want you to like, zoom in on him, okay? <laughs> the guy with the thing sticking out of his pocket? Okay. This, this will help you, really. Are you, are you a farmer or count? <laughs> Your sprouts will go crazy, I'm telling you. Okay, so we're going to start over here. Look, this, way, this lady's ready. She's like, okay, let's go. Okay, <laughs> you are ready, aren't you? Okay, one, two, three, go! <laughs> he did it! You know, there's a lot of folk songs about trains. <laughs> but I'd never heard one about this kind of an experience. So I decided that I would be the first to talk about this encounter. And now I've started a support group for others. <laughs>
one by myself, if that's okay. With you. This is called Simply. <laughs> collaboration of two uniquely gifted singer-songwriter musicians, Marianne Kennedy and Pam Rose, Kennedy Rose. Inside. 
this And I have never wanted more Than love, love like this Love, love like this
Thank you. Thank you, Austin. This is really wonderful. We've been... This one, uh, we did kind of write about the many sides of the heart on this, on this record, yes. Is it autobiographical? Well, yeah. Some of them are. And uh, anyway, this kind of is an all-encompassing song uh, that we co-wrote with uh, Pat Bunch and Kai Fleming, who did a show a few months back. It's called Love is the Healer. Turn another time Walking on the water Is it just a dream Or is it some Blinded by the light We're staring at the answer Standing here face to face Why did we turn away so long? Ooh, ooh so the chill Now we can feel the fire Up from the ashes Like Phoenix rising higher Into the morning sun These wings have just begun to fly This is another ballad that uh, is one that's very near and dear to our hearts that we did write with Pat Bunch and uh, 
we must give her credit for these beautiful words. It's called Leave in Line. I'm 
We've been doing uh, some songs tonight from an album that we have out. Um, thank you. That one person over there has seen the album in some store. It's, um, it's on a label called Pangea that Sting started, and uh, we are called Kennedy Rose. Why not Rose Kennedy, they asked. Well, because we respect the lady. So I got my name first. <laughs> because we respect her but it's called kennedy rose the album title is haiku um a dear friend of ours uh said that one time that our music did remind him of haiku poetry and uh so thanks to rick beresford uh that's the title of our record so um if you like what you're hearing um go to your record store thanks for coming out again this uh, is the last song that we'll be doing tonight and it's called Western Fires.
Dixie believes in quality products and quality programming. We're proud to help make possible the local broadcast of Boston City Limits for a third year. Win Dixie, America's supermarket.